So the other day I'm on YouTube doing my thing, watching a bunch of videos, and in my subscription box pops up this video from YC Imaging, one of my favorite channels about filmmaking, and he's showing us how to create a DIY light to get results similar to the Aperture 120D. Now for those of you who don't know, the Aperture 120D is a very popular LED daylight that a lot of filmmakers and YouTubers, myself included, use for a lot of videos. Now the reason why the light is so popular is because it looks great on skin tones, it's very powerful, and when you add modifiers like a softbox, you can get some very flattering results that look great when you're filming people. For all of my videos for like over a year now, I've been using the Aperture 120D with the Westcott Rapidbox Octa Double XL, and this comes out to about a thousand bucks if you're not including the light stand, which is actually a very reasonable price for the quality of light that you're getting. As much as the price tag is reasonable for the Aperture 120D, it is a little bit much for the casual hobbyist, YouTuber, or small freelancer who's just starting out. And that is exactly why I love YC's videos so much, because he was thinking outside the box and thinking of a way to get that soft, flattering diffused light like an Aperture 120D, but without spending a thousand bucks and just sort of using household items or things you might have lying around, as well as some inexpensive materials. So now you probably have a pretty good idea of where this video is going, and YC Imaging inspired me to go out and try and create my own DIY Aperture 120D. And I'm actually using it right now. This is a $40 light, which is super simple to make, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And there it is, that is our DIY Aperture 120D. So for the base of our light, I was trying to come up with something that was both round and reflective, and the thing that seemed the most fitting was a cake pan. Daniel, I've been looking all over for my cake pan, and I just can't find it anywhere. Did you take it? So I got this cake pan on Amazon for about 20 bucks and it's 14 inches in diameter by three inches deep. Now when you're picking out your cake pan, it's definitely better to have something with a bit of a larger diameter. That way you have a larger, more diffused light source and not such a direct harsh beam. Now obviously we're gonna need some sort of light. I picked up this LED strip from Amazon, which is only like $8. Now when you're buying your LED strip, you need to make sure that it is daylight and it actually says daylight in the name. You do not want bi color, you don't want RGB. RGB, you want daylight. This will give you the best power output and the best quality, which will look best on skin. Now keep in mind that the LED strip I chose does not come with a power cord, but I happen to have a bunch of these AC adapters laying around, and I was lucky enough that one of them actually matched the voltage of the LED strip. Now in order to make our light extra soft and flattering, we're going to need some diffusion. I'll be using this sheet of nylon silk diffusion, which you can get on Amazon for about 12 bucks, but if you don't want to go out and actually buy a sheet of diffusion, you could use something lying around the house like a bed sheet, a pillowcase, or a shower curtain. I'll start off by unpacking our LEDs, and then we're gonna wanna peel back the paper to reveal the adhesive on the backside. I'll begin sticking down the LEDs inside the cake pan like so, and we're gonna continue doing this, rotating the cake pan, until we've used up the whole strip. Now don't worry about making it perfect, it's actually not a bad thing if you have a few gaps. This will allow the light to bounce around and reflect just a bit more. Now I personally wanna mount my light to a tripod, so I'm I'm gonna be using one of these small clamps, which are very cheap. I have a bunch of these lying around. Even if you don't make this light, I do recommend picking up a bunch of these clamps because they come in super handy. As we tighten down the clamp, you'll notice that this also helps to hold our LED strip in place. And next, I'm simply gonna tighten the quick release place to the clamp, and we're ready to mount it to the tripod. Now, as you can see here, my buddy Matt is filming me as I set up our light, and once we plug it in, it'll power on, and already it actually looks pretty decent. But to get even better results, we can use our diffusion like I talked about earlier. I'll go ahead and draw a very rough outline of the shape of the cake pan using a pen, and then I'll cut two of these out from our diffusion material, and these are what we'll be using to soften our light. So here's what the light looks like if we have no diffusion. Here's what the light looks like if we add a single sheet of diffusion. And this is what our light looks like when we add a second sheet of diffusion. I actually like this light so much that I went ahead and made a second one. And I quickly want to explain how this works so you can get an idea of why the results are as good as they are. So first off, you can see that clearly inside the cake pan, we have this metallic reflective material. This is automatically going to bounce and reflect the light all around, making it more diffused, but also just a bit brighter. Now our instinct might tell us that it would be best to put the LEDs on the bottom of the pan and aim them straight out. But the reason why we rim them around the edge 
edge like this is because they will bounce back and forth and diffuse off of that back reflective surface. And this way we're not getting that harsh direct beam directly on our face or on our subject. Instead, we're getting a glow, this soft diffused light that comes out of the whole cake pan rather than just a straight on harsh light. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, of course, the very last thing we have to do is compare the results of our $40 cake pan light with the Aperture 120D and the softbox, which costs about $1,000. So again, here is the shot with absolutely no key light at all. And if we plug in our cake pan light, you can see that it lights this side of my face. We have a little bit of a fall off, a little bit of a shadow. I've got a reflector on this side to just slightly fill in those shadows so it's not super dramatic. And now of course, here we have the Aperture 120D lighting my face from a 45 degree angle. We've got the reflector on this side to fill in some of those shadows. Guys, it's very hard to argue with the quality of the 120D. It's clearly a superior light, but keep in mind that with the light dome, this does cost about a thousand so I want to know what you guys think. Is this cake pan light worth it for $40? Instead of getting a $1,000 Aperture 120D or whatever other video lights are out there. The 120D comes with a great carrying case. It's adjustable power. It has way better power output and the quality of light is far better. But I've got to say for $40, this cake pan light isn't half bad. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at daniel.schiffer. If you guys go ahead and make one of these lights, please tag me. I I would love to repost it and see what you come up with. But as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. And now our cake pan light is officially more expensive than an Aperture 120D.